Would you believe that I created this login page with AI and view in under 45 minutes? Yes, it looks awesome and I've never been able to do animations like this on my own, but now I can in no time. Let me show you how in this video. Step number one is to grab a couple of reference images from the web. The first image will be used to describe the layout and the elements that you'd like to include on the page. I used Supabase's login page for inspiration. The second image is for defining the aesthetic, or in other words, the vibe that we want the page to give off. Next, within a new Nux project where I had only installed Tailwind CSS, I dropped the two images into the cursor chat along with the following prompt. Let's create a login page component that matches the layout and design of the first image, but has the aesthetic of the second image. That gave me a result that looked something like this. Definitely not what I was going for. No problem though, let's have a little chat with Cursor and get things just right. Next, we taught it a little bit more about what we wanted for the layout, ensuring that it matched the image more closely, and after that was kind of what I wanted it to be, we gave some direction on the background and the animation. The key here is that we told it to have the same background color as the background in the aesthetic image. That was a pretty dark um, black that has, had a slightly purple hue to it, but then also use HTML5 canvas to generate some atmospheric animated elements that also looked like that aesthetic image. This didn't go quite as smoothly as I wanted it to. I did have to fix a few more layout issues, adjust the animation quite a bit, as well as fix some errors in the process that the chatbot created with the generated code along the way. But all in all, within about 20, 25 minutes, I came out with the result that you saw at the beginning of this video. The real takeaway here is that Canvas can be really great at making animations, even if you don't have any experience working with Canvas previously. Plus, it's going to take a little bit of back and forth when you're working with more complex scenarios like this, so just be a little bit patient. My last step was to work on a mobile version of the page after I'd already committed the working version of the, the desktop screen to GitHub, just so I could revert easily if things went horribly awry at this point in time. As you can see though, in almost no time, I had something that looked great. We thought for six seconds here, gave it a little bit more prompting, five more seconds here, gave it a little bit more prompting, couple more seconds here, a little bit more prompting, three seconds, and then we were done with the mobile version in under a minute. If you're a Vue.js developer, but feel your design skills aren't quite up to par with your development skills, then AI can definitely help as you've seen in this video. Do you have any cool tips or tricks to share with us about working with Vue components and AI or building Vue apps with the assistance of AI? Then we would love to hear from you. Leave those tips in the comment section below and go check us out over on viewschool.io for tons of material about working with Vue.js.